Oh, hell no. That really sucks. That was just replaced not too long ago. An $800 cat already cracked. Before you guys go replacing one of these manifolds on a Toyota Camry, there's some things you should know. So stay tuned. If you guys got a 2007 to 2009 Toyota Corolla and it sounds like this, I'm quite certain that that exhaust manifold is cracked. Now this is not just an isolated problem, this is a major problem because if you look on the interwebs of a Toyota Corolla and having exhaust manifold problems, they all crack. And I'm not sure if they have a recall on these, but they need to have a recall because this is an all too common problem. So uh, what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna replace it. I'm gonna see if I can locate the crack and uh, kinda take a look at possibly why these things crack. Now guys, I'm not gonna sit here and badmouth Toyota on is it possible that they had a design flaw when they built these Toyota Camrys with this manifold that's so massively heavy that the, that the sheer vibration of the engine cracks these manifolds. Now, that's my speculation on it. So, how do we correct that? Well, I think it's a design flaw. So, why don't we redesign it and get a lightweight manifold? And I will caution you, before you touch any kind of exhaust part, make sure you let the car cool down for a couple hours. No sense in burning yourself. First thing we need to do is we need to remove the heat shield so we can get on inside there because obviously the uh, manifold is behind this. So uh, let's take them off. We got the four bolts. They are 12 millimeter bolts. Let's grab our wrench. Take the stuff off. Yes, I already loosened them, but it's okay. okay. All right. Put two down here. Put that out. Okay. That should come right on out. There we go. There we go, we got the exposed manifold sitting right there. You know what the bad thing about this manifold? Is that it is attached to the catalytic converter. So if you're doing this thing, prepare for it to be a lot of money because it houses the catalytic converter, unfortunately. Now before we start unbolting all of this stuff, we need to do something that's very, very important. You see the O2 sensor here? Well, we need to unplug this because it will rip that thing to shreds if it falls or if it's mishandled. So uh, what we got to do is take this intake out. It's got two 10 millimeter bolts. You got one right there. Well, that one's already broke, but make it easier. Just take that, that on out. Pulls right on out. And now you can see the O2 sensor wire right up in there. Now I'm not going to lie to you, this plug is a pain in the ass to pull out. But you can see that little tab down in there, you get to push your finger back there, push it all the way down and it pops right on out. Now because I like doing stuff on standing up instead of laying on my back we're gonna try to tackle these 14 millimeter bolts that are bolted here's one that's bolted to the transmission i'm sorry to the engine block right there and then you got one over there if you can see that all right that one's loose
Okay, now it's time to take off the five nuts off of this uh, manifold here. Now, the easiest way I, I, I do this, because you see how it sits behind the alternator, I don't take the alternator off. I do things a lot easier. All you got to do is take this bracket here off that I really doesn't think serve no purpose. Right. Come on, be nice. All right, take that off. Slide that on off. Then you can get your 12 millimeter wrench down in there and just take it on off without taking the alternator off. Now to get it free from the downpipe here, you got to take out the two 14 millimeters on each side, that one and that one. And yes, they probably will break. So be prepared. Oh shit! Oh man! Shit. Speaking of which, today's episode of Gas Diesel Garage is sponsored by. Now guys, besides turning wrenches and making great YouTube videos, I also like to grill out. And Big Cock Ranch, yes, it's literally called Big Cock Ranch. They sent me over some seasonings. All natural, all freshly blended for those who want to put a little zip in their doodah with a hot combo taste of Mexican meats Cajun. This seasoning provides just the right amount of kick to make you say all will get you reaching for the nearest beer but without having to bite a bullet the next morning whether you're a gourmet cook or a sadist trying to get even with a friend will provide the extra heat to bring out your best and it comes in four different flavors for your burgers and your steaks we have bull good and special so show the big cock brand some love pick yourself up some of these awesome seasonings i promise you these things are the bomb so link in the description below on how to grab some and uh every purchase you help grow the channel so please go ahead and grab you some Now I wasn't kidding you when I said that those bolts will break. Hopefully in this new one, they're gonna have all the hardware I need. Now you got all the bolts loose, should just be able to pull right on up and out of it. There we go. Look at me. And thanks to Auto Shack for hooking us up with a brand new manifold slash catalytic converter for this 2009 Toyota Camry. So let's go ahead and put this thing on in. And I will have a link in the description below on how to get you one of these because if you buy one of those Auto Shacks, it's brand new. I mean, the quality is great. I mean, check this on out. I mean, it comes with everything that you need, bolts, the gaskets, and the mamma jamma right here so pick yourself up one link in the description below and i will tell you if you tackle this thing yourself it is possible you can do it save yourself a lot of money i mean because i think for a cat on these things at a shop probably run you about close to a thousand dollars but you buy one for a couple hundred dollars link in the description below i know i said that like three or four times already but it's okay and your own sweat equity because look doing it in my driveway actually I'm actually doing it in the street 
actually. So uh, it's doable. So let's go ahead and take this thing on out, swap all the heat shields, and uh, we'll go from there. Now I know exactly what you guys are gonna say. You're gonna say that that does not look like that. And there's a reason for that. Because the OE style, see how thin that metal is? That metal is going to crack again if I got one just like this. I haven't found the crack yet, but I know it's in here somewhere. I mean, I could, I could hear it. But I want to show you the difference in this one. Check that out. That is sealed. Actually going to have better exhaust too. Better performance also. Yes, the O2 sensor is in a different place. But everything bolts up the same exact way. Emission. See that? See that? So in other words, we're getting an upgrade for it. And also, I, did, I forgot to mention... This thing is super heavy compared to that one. That one's so lightweight and great construction. I love it. But make sure you take your O2 sensor out because we're gonna have to transfer this over to this. Now there's only one drawback to this upgraded manifold. And that is you're not gonna be able to transfer the stock uh, heat, man heat shields rather. See these heat shields? It's a different construction so there's obviously no reason why we need to actually switch this over. So uh, we're just going to go with it. Send it. Alright, now that's in there. Now we just gotta go down on the bottom, hook the, uh, the downpipe up with the two bolts. Oh, and don't forget my gasket there. Here's the other cool thing about Auto Shack they actually have the right size bolts that are OE. These are 14 millimeter bolts. Remember earlier that I basically broke? 14 millimeters. Let's go ahead and put this stuff in. And of course, don't forget your O2 sensor. Very important. Now I know exactly what you guys are going to say. You're going to think that that O2 sensor is going to hit the hood, but it actually is not. If you look right here, look straight across. It shouldn't hit.
Now here's the moment of truth. Let's fire this thing on up, see if it makes any noise. Now that we installed a better mousetrap, maybe hopefully the interwebs will catch on and see that putting another heavy exhaust manifold slash cat on these little four cylinder Toyota Camrys, uh, guess what? Don't do that. No, don't. Get yourself a lightweight manifold. Like I said, link in the uh, description below and uh, I don't think you'll have any problems. So if you enjoyed this episode of Gas Diesel Garage, make sure you like, subscribe, share it with your friends, family, neighbors, uncles, cousins, co-workers, significant others, and uh, we'll just have to catch you in the next episode. Peace.